Hi there and welcome to another video by Revising Rubies. In this video we'll be discussing what the best ways of using Anki as a UK medical student are. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss anything. If you're new here, my name's Hussain and I'm a medical student studying in London. In this video we'll be discussing what the best ways of using Anki are, looking at the Flash Finals deck, looking at the Anking deck and if you should be making your own decks as a UK medical student. So let's get started. This video does assume some basic knowledge of Anki and so if you aren't sure about Anki and you don't know what it is then check out the article which is linked in the description box down below. Now as medical students we know that Anki is one of the best ways of revising. It uses active recall and spaced repetition and is proven in multiple studies to help in revising. One of the best ways of using Anki is using pre-made decks. Pre-made decks are great because they save time, they are made by a group of people and so tend to have less mistakes than if you just made them yourself. The cards tend to be thoroughly tagged and they are regularly updated. So although pre-made decks are great, the unfortunate reality is that UK medical students are at disadvantage. There are very few pre-made decks available. In fact, there only seems to be one deck and that's the Flash Finals deck, which I'll be discussing later on. So what are you supposed to do? Either you make your own flashcards, use a flash finals deck, or you can use the US pre-made decks. I'll be discussing all of these different options in this video. First, let's look at the flash finals deck. So what is it first of all? The flash finals deck is a set of Anki decks made by UK doctors and covers all of the main specialties. It takes information from the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, also known as the cheese and onion in the UK. Unfortunately, not everyone can use the Flash Finals deck and that's because it's a clinical deck and has a lot of cards based on signs and symptoms, clinical features of the disease, treatment options of the disease. And so if you're in your first year of medical school, how are you supposed to use the Flash Finals deck? Another thing which is important to know is that the deck doesn't really have the best of cards. That's because the Flash cards tend to be very long. Have a look at this example here. As you can see, the question is relatively simple. However, the answer has so much in there, it's really impossible to learn. Now, if you are a clinical medical student, and eventually all of us will end up being one, is it a good deck to use? And I think it is a good deck. However, it does require a lot of editing. You will probably need to turn a lot of the cards into the closed type of flashcard. I would suggest the close overlapper add-on made by Glutanimate. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for it but it's fantastic because it allows you to cover up all of the close flashcards that you create. If you are going to use the close overlapper add-on, then I'm going to briefly show you how you should be editing your cards to create the best cards possible. As you can see here, I mean Anki, you can see that this card, what are the cause of peritonitis, is selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select change note type. I'm going to Select the new note type as close overlapping. This does assume that you have the close overlapping add-on installed. The first thing I like to do is to highlight this and get rid of it. Pretty pointless, doesn't need to be there. This is just personal preference, all of this stuff. I just like to get rid of these full stops here and get rid of this sort by mechanism. Again, doesn't really need to be there. So next thing is you want to highlight the whole thing, press Command X. You want to cut it and you want to paste it into this original field. Once you've done that, you want to highlight this, press Command Shift and C if you're on Mac, and this will create the first flashcard. Press Command Shift and C for this one as well. And now what I want is I want this flashcard to be the same as this flashcard. So I'm going to press Command Option Shift C. And as you can see, this is OC2, OC2, which means this will be one flashcard. Next, I'm going to highlight this, Command Shift C, highlight this, Command Option Shift C. Then I'm going to highlight peritoneal dialysis, Command Shift C. I've created four flashcards, and if you want, you can just highlight this and get rid of the bold. Finally, you go to this button on the right, and either you can select Alt Shift C, or you can just click it. And that's it, you've created your flashcard. If I go up into the top right to preview what it looks like, this is how it's going to show what are the causes of peritonitis, 
and you can see the first flash card here. When I reveal it, you see post op leak come up. I would also like to point out that if you go to the settings option, these are the settings I've chosen. Okay, so now hopefully you have an idea of how to use the Flash Finals deck. To summarize, here are my thoughts. It's good for UK medical students. It covers all the main specialties and is from the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. However, it's long, you need to edit it quite significantly and it's not really regularly updated. So you can decide for yourself if you wanna use it. Next, let's talk about if you should use US decks for UK exams. There is certainly an argument why you should use US decks. They are comprehensive, regularly updated, and you don't need to edit them like you do with the Flash Finals decks. Unfortunately, they aren't for UK medical students. They aren't meant for UK medical students. And so therefore, some of the words may be different. For example, they may use epinephrine rather than adrenaline, and some of the treatment options may be completely different. The first line treatment options might have a different drug or a different method which is used. And so what should you do? Well, if you're in your first or second year of medical school, and you're unsure about which pre-med decks you should use, you should probably try and use a US deck. The Anking Step 1 desk is still fantastic, even though it has some of the American terms. It has closed flashcards, is regularly updated, and it covers all the main specialties. Unfortunately, another downside other than the fact that it's a US deck is that it does have a huge amount of cards. And so it can be a bit overwhelming when you're trying to use them. Now, if we compare Flash Finals and the Anking deck, you can see that they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Although Flash Finals is entirely relevant to the UK, the Anking deck is regularly updated, also contains preclinical cards, while the Flash Finals deck only contains clinical cards, and the Anking deck doesn't require a lot of editing. So if you're in your preclinical years, you don't really have much of a choice. However, if you're in your clinical years, then you do have the option of combining the Flash Finals and Anking deck. And this is probably what I would suggest for most students if they are going to be using pre-made decks. Now, so far we've discussed if you should use pre-made decks, why they are good, should you use the Flash Finals deck, should you use the Anking deck. However, we haven't discussed if you should be making your own cards and if you should be making your own decks. There are certainly arguments as to why you should make your own decks rather than relying on pre-made decks. You are more likely to remember things you wrote in the card yourself in the same way that when you write notes, it's better if you write the notes rather than looking at someone else's notes. You can create cards which are specific to your medical school rather than having general cards based on what other medical students have thought is correct. And also you could get together with your friends and create cards together. This will save a lot of time, but also have the benefit of having relevant cards to the exam that you're gonna take. If you are gonna be making your own flashcards, then you could use past medicine, Past medicine is mainly used by clinical medical students, and so you can go into past medicine, look at the questions, and copy and paste the relevant information and turn them into flashcards. If you want more detail on everything I've talked about in this video, then check out the article which is linked in the description box down below. It goes into a bit more depth about flash finals versus anking, and also if you should make your own cards. You'll also find plenty of other articles on how to revise and how to study as a medical student on revisingreviews.com. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're new as there's going to be new videos like this out every single week.